Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So, this is the season for consumerism and I was thinking how much I just have a lot of stuff on my wish list, general wish list, mostly it's fashion stuff and I wanted to share or show you my wish list specifically for Lolita fashion slash some vintage stuff or vintage looking stuff and mostly because I, th I think this is even more of a fantasy than any other wish list I've ever had because these things aren't just mostly pretty expensive but also some of them are not available anymore and I have looked through some of these um, dresses and in places and accessories and stuff like that in places like Wonderveld, Wonderveld or Closet Child which are second-hand shops for Lolita fashion stuff and a lot of them seem to never have been even there um, and some of them are there but are even more expensive now than they used to be even second-hand so this one is Fleur Antoinette that might not be how it's pronounced Fleur, Fleur Antoinette OP um, this goes for about $400 or at least it did initially um, at that time so that's great isn't it um, yeah I like pretty much all of the colorways they're all really beautiful especially this blue one and it's just a beautiful OP by Mary Magdalene Mary Magdalene went out of business a few years ago and then they went back in business but I'm not sure if they have re-released any of their classic um, dresses or what but yeah I certainly hope they do and I also hope they have more sizes because this one would be like four centimeters too small so yeah I guess even if I bought it I wouldn't be able to um, fit into it at least that version but this one is actually by Bodyline it is the ladder lace OP and cape set so this one is a little bit more attainable and by a little bit I mean quite a lot more it goes from $40 to $60 and I especially like the black and white version or the fully black version um, I guess it might not be well wait is there even a fully black version I could have sworn there was one but apparently it's not here in the pictures I don't know but the point is um, I like this design a lot I do realize that it appears it looks it's one of those bodyline dresses that looks like it's bodyline right and I get it but I think it's a pretty dress I mean it would be kind of thing in my ideal, you know, in my ideal world, you know, in my mind. It would be kind of thing that you could wear to a more casual thing where you want to wear Lolita but you don't want to wear your more expensive clothes to somewhere where they could get uh, dirty or something like that. This is another really um, unrealistic one. This is Flowers in Full Bloom or Flowers in a Vase OP by Juliet and Justine and this one does come in a size that would fit me however it is about $500 and I'm not sure if it's even being sold right now anymore I don't think it is on their official website and I have not found it on Wonderveld or Closet Child or anything either so I don't know but look at these beautiful dresses my favorite colorway is this one with the olive waistband but they're all really beautiful honestly maybe the yellowy one or like yellow yeah the yellow colorway wouldn't be my favorite one but the blue and the white um, are beautiful and I just love them this one is called Miss Victorian Classical Long OP this is by uh, surface spell so surface spell is a Taobao brand so a Chinese brand they're slightly bit uh, cheaper than your regular uh, Japanese brands and this one goes for $160 and my favorite uh, colorway in this one is definitely this uh, sort of dusty purple or yeah like a dusty purple kind of color um, I like the solid version and I also love this version this one has sort of a small floral print both really beautiful honestly I would love either any of these colorways they are really beautiful um, I love how 
properly Victorian, I guess it looks. I mean, I'm not sure that it looks fully, you know, historically accurate, but it does look quite close, I think, the way that, um, not the neckline necessarily, but these uh, parts here, not pin tacks, what are they called? But, you know, this panel here, the sort of, the, the sleeves and the sort of drop sleeve uh, or drop shoulder uh, looks really nice and it looks does look like something that would be from like the late 19th century or maybe early 20th century and it's just so beautiful um, I would need a longer petticoat for this one I only own a knee-length petticoat but you know it would be worth it if I own this uh, dress to uh, also get a longer petticoat Let's look at this other one, also by, I think it's also by Surface Spell, yeah. It's Portrait of a Lady, Jaggard, Crinoline OP, also a long dress. And I'm not sure how old that this one would be. This I feel like this kind of crosses, it's kind of on that line between vintage or period rec reproduction and Lolita dresses. But quite beautiful, I mean either the red, I don't see any pictures of the red version, but I think I would prefer that one but even the blue version looks really beautiful and the off-shoulder neckline and this one is a pretty interesting one as well I'm not sure this, this one can be considered Lolita, but I found it and I thought it was beautiful this is also by Surface Spell, it's called House of Borgia OP in blue the black one actually seems to be a completely different cut and I don't love it as much because of that this empire waist, I usually don't like empire waists um, on dresses or really on anything, but it's actually pretty cute and I don't know, it does look almost a little bit medieval, um, but you know, regardless of what it might remind you of, it's quite pretty, it goes for $118 and it has a lot of um, choices for, not a lot of, but it does have a custom sizing option and it does have my size. I would be sort of an M to L on Asian sizing, so I would fit in this one. And it's not too unattainable, I mean $120 is a lot of money obviously, but you know, maybe in a not so distant future I would be able to afford something like that. This one is a brand piece, so it's a Japanese brand piece, it's by I think Alice in the Pirates, let me, yeah, Alice in the Pirates. This one is called the Knights of St. Lily OP. Um, they're all pieces, these first ones. And this does seem like it will fit me the waist. Um, it has like shearing, I think, or something like that. Let me look at it. Well, not shearing, but it does seem adjustable the waist. I especially like the wine colorway, but honestly, all of them are really beautiful. The blue, the black. Um, I even like the, the way the white one has the contrasting cuffs and the contrasting uh, sort of false color. And the print looks really beautiful over that, over the, the general main print, um, which is much more subtle. And I really like that. Oh, I don't really love Lolita dresses that have like an overall print that doesn't change throughout the dress if it's too busy um of course it's a more if it's a more subtle print i do like how it looks but a lot of them like girly sticker for example by angelic pretty um that's the kind of thing that i won't really care for that much for the most part anyway so this one goes for a hand 280 dollars this next one is by innocent world it's the isabella op um, is 210 and I especially like the wine colorway. Look at this one. Wine with um, the sort of white trim. It's quite beautiful, very simple, but you know, would be very versatile in a wardrobe. And I really like this square neckline and the half sleeve. This other one is also by Innocent World and it's called Plain OP. And which is the color that I wanted? Well, I feel like with a lot of the dresses, it's kind of the color, you know, they're all beautiful, but this one I think I would go for pink or maybe wine, and I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but it goes for $210, or at least it did when it came out. It could be more, it could be less today. This one is by Angelic Pretty. This is called the Pintac OP, and I love it. It's so old school, and especially in this colorway, the black with white. Um, and I've noticed that the brand dresses that are black and white 
um, that are more old school like this. They tend to have a much more subtle detail of white over the black. So the more, I guess, cheaper ones tend to have a lot of really... There's no restraint in the cheaper versions. Um, when it comes to the white details and the white lace and all of these, sometimes it looks a bit not like the design wasn't thought through very much. But in this case, in dresses like this, you can tell that, you know, that's kind of the beauty of the the more prestigious brands in Lolita, that the design and everything is so, you know, it's it's been thought through a lot. And especially Angelique Pretty is known for that. They're known to be detail-oriented, that's what I mean. Another one by Angelic Pretty is Retro Modern OP. Um, I like especially the... What was it? White and gray, this version. This version on the main picture. No, wait. It's just this one. This one, okay, yeah. This version is really beautiful. Um, I guess it kind of gives you vibes of like being a uniform or something like that. And by the way, the AP dresses also go by uh, 2250, the previous one, and Retro Modern goes by 210. And this one is by Alice and the Pirates, which is maybe my favorite Lolita brand, um, in terms of the sign at least, because I haven't bought anything from them. But I like their stuff a lot, it looks really beautiful. This one is um, the Ansi Princess OP, and it goes for $210. I especially like the red version. In my head, I have a mostly red wardrobe when it comes to Lolita, red and black and white, um, which is actually pretty close to what my normie wardrobe looks like. And I don't know, I mean, look at this. The bodies of this dress is beautiful. Um, it's a longer body so that's kind of been going out of fashion um, in the last years in Lolita anyway. It's been very... It's like the, the waistline has been getting higher and higher. And this one has a body that even goes a little bit closer to the hips. Not quite to the hips, but definitely um, lower than the natural waist. And I like that triangle detail that goes towards the center of the bodies at the bottom. Um, really beautiful. It has bustling as well, if you can see this here which I love that detail as well. I love to see it in dresses. I love, love, love to see it at the front and at the back, either or, of course, not both in the same dress. This is also by Alice and the Pirates. It's the Pirate Ship Katsu OP, and I don't think I've seen pictures of people wearing it, but it looks really beautiful. I like uh, pirates a lot, you have maybe noticed, I don't know, but it has this detail or print at the bottom and sort of on the right side. Um, which is really beautiful and I like to see these kind of motifs in Lolita and I would love to get this black and white version. It also has a removable sailor collar which is cute. I don't think I would wear it much but it is a pretty cool, cute thing. It looks kind of better without it I would say but you would need more accessories here as well if you, if you don't wear it. Um, what else? That one is $170. So, not that much. This one, I didn't list the price, but uh, this is by Baby the Starshine brand. Oh, this how was it, doll OP. This is one, apparently one of the most rare and sought after um, old school dresses of all time. This is my favorite uh, colorway, black and white. Um, I saw this going for, I think, 600 or 700 dollars or so in Wunderwelt, I think it was. And I was like, you know what, I think I should get that out of my head because it's not going to happen and it's beautiful, beautiful dress of course, but I just don't know, you know, it's, it's not, you know, the Lira isn't my only interest, it's not my only hobby, I, I don't see myself spending that much on one dress. So this is Standing Color Glau Copies OP by Victorian Maiden. And this is really beautiful, look at it. I think this one doesn't have a lot of sizing options. It seems to only be on like an S with a pretty small waist. It's a sort of coat style piece. It's not actually a coat. And it is a military style OP, beautiful, um, kind of simple, I guess, more on the simple side. And, the, and this color wine is really beautiful as well. Look at all the details. 
all the buttons here and here on the shoulders um, I love the sort of puffy bell shoulders as well and the way it ends here on a cuff and the lace trim here it's pretty cute it would it would be a little too simple without that one without the lace trim so I like it a lot and this one goes for or at least it went for 260 so this is the Isaac jacket OP by I think by Victorian Victorian Maiden as well no this is by Atelier Boss um, and look at it really beautiful um, also seems to have more size options again and that doesn't make much difference for something that I will probably never own but you know never say never it does have that corset lacing at the back and it's just really beautiful I mean it's definitely not the most princessy and feminine of all of the OPs in Lolita but it's definitely a beautiful dress look at the cuffs here as well and the collar and here in the shoulders <sighs> yeah it goes for 270 and then I'm getting to the JSKs this is the In A Fairy Tale JSK by Angelic Pretty it's in no it it's by a hundred oh my god it goes for a hundred and sixty dollars um and i don't know if there's any different waist or other uh, size options than there were before but it seems that it's pretty limited um i do think i, I do believe angelic pretty had even more limited size options than it did than it does now but i would be ideally if ever getting this in black or red both are really beautiful um i mean it's beautiful either way but pink is not a color that i will really see myself wearing even in lolita although of course it's just as pretty um but you know it's just not my ideal thing that i will wear this is another one by alice and the pirates and i have seen this one a lot on wunderveld and closet child not necessarily on this colorway the colorway that i want but i it's go it's by oh my god again it goes for 240 dollars at least it did initially but i think i've seen it for a little bit more on second hand stores i mostly see it in this colorway pink and ivory but my favorite is actually the red with white one it's a really beautiful dress i do believe it's sort of romeo and juliet oh yeah romeo and juliet themed um really beautiful print as well you can see here the balcony and it even says romeo and juliet alice and the pirates and the roses as buttons here on the waist ties the corset lacing of course and all of the lace details around it and the bustle at the front uh, as well which is quite pretty or i guess they call it a tiered tiered skirt when it's in the front and it's bustle when it's at the back or something or is it still called a tiered skirt when it's in the back i don't know another thing that i like about this design is the bow here at the top i don't think i've ever seen that on any other design this one is treasure hat in the mystic island Al alvida jsk by alice in the pirates again it went for 230 dollars and i really like this version um navy with a brown but i really like all of them black with red or pink again this is also quite pretty i like that it's also pirate themed the brand is called alice in the pirates but not everything they make is actually pirate themed um it's just like a common thing that they or rather it's more of a sometimes thing i feel like they do it um not as often necessarily as you might expect from the name and it has a cute button with i think it's the logo here their logo or maybe it's the baby logo baby and um alice and the pirates are essentially the same brand it also has a low waist which is cute i don't necessarily love the super low waist waists but i also don't love the super high ones natural waist or slightly higher or slightly, slightly lower are my favorite my ideal ones it has a halter neck type um, shoulder tie and it also has just a regular shoulder tie thing so that's interesting and it's cute so I don't know you know the, the corset lacing here the bow uh, which is removable as well 
and the print, I don't think there's a picture here of the actual print in close-up, but it is pirate themed. This is by Juliette and Justine again. Um, it has sort of a ballerina type look, ballerina dress type look. It's longer, of course. Oh my god, it's just really beautiful. Um, but of course it is very expensive. Juliet and Justine are even more expensive than your regular, um, I have noticed, than your regular Lolita brands. This one went for $300. This one is a pretty cheap one, uh, considering everything, you know, in comparison to all these other ones. This one is by Diamond Honey. Um, it goes for, I think, about $50, yes, $50, and it has a lot of different sizes. Usually, Chinese brands have different sizes. This one had a burgundy version. Um, I think I found it in Glitzy World Wonderland, but I'm not sure if it's available anymore. But it did have a um, red version that I was interested in, and I think it's cute. Um, this is also pirate-themed. You can kind of see here in this image, the print is kind of piratey. Um, the tricorn here and the eye patch in the, on this guy, the clothes, um, a sort of pirate looking flag here, and things of the sort. Um, and also a pirate ship here, as you can see, and the, um, the print on the background kind of looks like a map or something like that. Um, at least on this version, it kind of does resemble that. And it's just a very pretty dress. This is such a beautiful one by a Chinese brand. Again, this is by Neverland, which is Souffle Song. I don't believe they're the same brand. Um, this is called Magic Night Museum Drawstring. And it has... The drawstrings are these things here that you can make... Used to make to lift the skirt here, as you can see here. The skirt kind of lifts with those things and it looks quite pretty and very like royal and I think that's what I like the most about these dresses. Um, in pretty much all colorways but I think my favorite would be the red, dark red kind of burgundy shade and it's just beautiful and of course it goes, it, ca it has different sizes and all that. Another one that is kind of cute but I don't love the fact that it only has one color or two I think Oh well, it does, but none of the colors completely um, sell me. It only my favorite color right here is pink, but I won't have any other pink dresses in my imagined fantasy wardrobe, so I don't know that I would necessarily buy this one at any point. Another kind of royal looking dress has a tiered skirt here at the front, or the tear detail I guess here at the front. This one is by Infanta which is a Chinese brand also and it goes for I think around $76 or at least it did when it came out and I like all of these colorways. It's just two but I really like this dusty pink one the most. Um, it has sort of this detail like a cheap out, right? I'm not sure what I would even cord it with, what I would wear it with, what kind of socks. I have no idea, but it, I just know it's a pretty dress. For most other things, I kind of already have sort of a cord in my head of like what I would wear with this. This is one of those that it's a bit harder to, to figure out. This is by Baby Distortion Bright. The Lace Frill JSK and this went for 240 but I bet you that it's probably double the price nowadays if you manage to find it. Very sought after. Of course I would love it in either red and white or black and white. And look at the detail here with the lace and the bows. Um, it's just so intricate, but it doesn't look like too much all at once. And it's just such a beautiful design and so beautifully made. Look at this as well. This one is by Innocent World and it's called Twin Rose JSK. And my favorite colorway is the black with... Or I think it's navy. Is it navy? Or black? It's black and gray is this one. Black and gray. And... I don't know, I mean all the colors here are really beautiful of the versions, but it's kind of a simple dress I guess and it goes for $210, so yeah. This is the Happy London Just Waist JSK and I think the Just Waist refers to the dress having a natural waistline and 
this one as you can see what i want i want it in wine which is the same color and as you can see it has this print that is of course london themed um it has this a little bear with this the uniform of the guards the guards themselves here the lion the crown and this kind of rocking horse and i'm not sure what this is but it kind of reminds me of vivian westwood um i think she used it in the signs or something but yeah it's by innocent world i love the double strap the double shoulder straps it actually has heart shaped buttons decorative buttons here at the front and it goes for 210 or it did initially and this one is also by Innocent World. It's called the Torch and Lace Chest Rodeon JSK. Another kind of simple design for them. And I think I have it listed in black and white, which is this one. And it's quite pretty, but looking back at it, I feel like the wine or just the full black are almost a little bit prettier. And this one is also by Innocent World. It's called the Elizabeth Rose JSK. And I think I my ideal one was this one in black and blue or navy and, and blue it has this sweetheart neckline here which is so pretty the pin tags here on the bodies as well as you can see here and i love the fact that it has a rose print right in the middle of the bodies as well it has a little bow here as well the straps are also um printed with the same rose theme and the roses here are the trim, the trim, and then it has some more, um, what would you call them? More ribbons at the, at the trim, um, three tiers of ribbons. Um, this one is actually pretty pretty as well, this ivory version with the pink roses. But maybe this one would go more with my wardrobe if I were to own it and I were to have an actual wardrobe of stuff to pair it with. This is the Angelic Pretty. Princess Classical JSK goes for 120 and I am again thinking of it in black and white very pretty, very delicate the one thing that doesn't convince me is maybe this ribbon in the waist or these ones here I feel like all three of them at the same time aren't ideal but I love the pack part, the back side here I, well, I really love as well um, as you can see they have this triangular cut here at the bottom and then it has this tiered detail here and i love how there's a little bit of a line of lace a very small thin line of lace right above each of these uh, ruffle details here on the skirt but then it has this solid panel here this is the ap flower lace jsk and my favorite one i listed it again as black and white but again in reality i would love it no matter what uh, this red version is also pretty cute and it goes for uh, 220 again this one is my metamorphos which isn't a brand that i i think i had mentioned until this moment uh this three tier frill jsk uh the gingham version or gingham mm, not sure but red especially i think um it doesn't look its best in this picture um, maybe they didn't use the right petticoat, but in this picture you can see it at its best. Um, really beautiful, it has the straps with the ribbons at the end, or rather the bodies with the ribbons at the very top. Uh, the corset lacing, of course, it's all really, really beautiful. It looks, it reminds you of like a picnic. It will be really pretty for the summer or something like that. Um, and it goes for 280. Yeah. So this one is by Alice and the Pirates and it's called Night in Devil's Castle JSK1. I like this um, black and red colorway the most. It has, um, obviously it's mostly black and it has these corset details doubled here. Usually it's just one here in the center and with the ribbons at the, uh, at the end and has a sort of a lower waist. With the ruffles at the end here as well they you can see them too well here but you can see them better on this color for example um and it has this beautiful ribbon here which kind of gives you like a sweet hard neckline looking effect and the print itself is quite pretty you can see here um it has it says here alice in the pirates with like a bloody font type thing uh, the crosses this sort of bedroom looking place um is the print 
and it does look like it's a sort of um, haunted mansion vibe or something like that and it does remind you of like maybe like a classic vampire or something like that and this goes for 280 I think I already mentioned that another one that I have this is basically like either these three um, either one of the three including the the one that I just mentioned um, would be really on my wish list. I don't, I don't really care to have all three of them at the same time, but it's just that these are all really beautiful prints. This one, um, this is me the one that I'm the least convinced by in terms of the sign, but in terms of the print, it's really beautiful. Again, the um, the red version, but I think I have the black version as the one that I like the most, which is really black and gray. And I like the fact that it shows off the roses here on the print the most in this colorway. It looks especially good with this blouse that they paired with it, it with um, the crosses and everything. It's really beautiful. You can see there. Um, this one is also the Vampire Prelude JSK. This one is the oldest out of these, I think. This has a print, sort of an agate, with the roses and everything, so it's pretty similar to the previous print. And I was thinking of this one in black. It also shows off the roses a bit more. Um, the ivory one is cute, but I won't really wear much ivory in my wardrobe if I were to have such a wardrobe. But you can see the, the roses here really stand out on the black version. Um, this one is cute again, but the roses look kind of pink in this one. Yeah, beautiful one, and it goes for 280, which is the same price as the previous ones. This next one, also by Alice in the Pirates, is sort of a journal looking dress. Um, it, because of the coarse lacing, the way the vest looks, it kind of makes it look as if there were a blouse underneath with this um, removable, I think it's removable. Um, detachable collar thing here. I think my favorite version uh, colorway is this one, red and brown. It has this print sort of like um, little red riding hood or something like that. It even has this hood in this version look, um, which is probably sold separately. So it has a sort of fairy tale vibe, um, very pretty and sweet. This won't necessarily be one of my most my, my priorities, I mostly added it because I just think it's quite pretty. Um, if I were to already have an established wardrobe, this would be um, in my current wish list. Uh, you know, the ones that I want to buy after all the ones that I wanted to buy the most. And that one is also $280. This one also about Alice in the Pirates. is called Roses Prisoner in Pirates Ship JSK2. And this one has a silver or gray colorway, this one. Uh, as you can see, it also has the co double corset lacing here. The two little ribbons hair, um, bows, I guess, ribbons. Um, bows made with ribbons, you know. Um, I don't love the way the bodice ends here or starts, I guess. Here it's just like a round neckline, nothing very interesting there. But everything else I really love, especially the fact that it's a pirate print. As you can see, it has this violin and this like skull with a crown. It has this um, rose button on the waist ties as well. This one is by Baby Starshine Bright and it's one of their classic, more sought after and often very re-released re dresses, JSKs. And I like the black and white and also the red and white. I don't love the fact that it does have a very high waistline. I like to know that they're still making this classic design and it goes, or at least it went for 210. This one is also by Victorian Maiden. It is the Noble Queen JSK. My favorite version is the Bordeaux version, which I think is this one. Um, I have an issue. I don't really know how to pronounce um, or rather how to read these characters too well, but I do think this is the Bordeaux version. Um, and this is wine, I think. Um, I also like this one, but I kind of do prefer this one a little bit. It has the beautiful corset lacing here. I like the fact that the skirt and the bodice almost seem like they're two different pieces. This one, also by Victoria Maiden, it's called the Goth Cotton Gather Anders JSK. And it came out a long time ago, it says here 2014, second release. All of these are pretty old designs, they, come, they came out um, some of them 10 years ago or more. I quite like this pink version. I think it's because it kind of reminds me again of like a ballerina dress being solid pink but also 
kind of a simple design um, not that simple not too simple but definitely you know because it's a solid it kind of has to rely on the textures and the design and the cut itself to make it look more interesting and I also love that the fact that it has a sweetheart neckline something that a lot of dresses um, for some reason seem to not really have um, in Lolita anyway this one is also by um, by Victorian Maiden it's called the Velveteen Victoria OP and it goes for $310 which is great and I love the wine version it comes with these uh, sleeves here I think I'm not sure I don't think they are attached to the dress I think they probably just come with the dress if you buy it um, you can remove them anyway as you can see but I like the fact that this panel is is a different material you know I think that's pretty cool as well at the sign in the signs or outfit making or anything like that when you have the same color all over but when you change up the texture and the finish it makes it much more varied even if this, the whole piece is one color and I think that's why this looks so beautiful um, partly why it looks so beautiful here it is with a blouse on other colorways it's very beautiful um, again it would need kind of a, a longer uh, A-line petticoat this one is another bodyline one it goes for $40 if not on sale and I think I would just like the black one it looks quite cute um, Bodyline does not do justice uh, to their dresses on in pictures for some reason. I've seen cords with this dress and they look really, really beautiful. They look great. Like at first glance, you can tell that it's Bodyline. Uh, it looks quite beautiful and pretty. And I would like to own this um, kind of near, in the somewhat near future. So this is a picture of the dress being worn in a cord as you can see this is the triple fortune flower fairies jsk and i like this one mostly because it kind of has the fairy theme of course very beautiful and cute um it's just oh it's just so adorable and the flowers the kind of nature theme um because it's kind of green but over this um, light green or light blue black background. I really doubt it's being sold at this point anymore. It went it went for $230 when it did come out. This is another fairy themed dress. This is called Thumbelina Maya's Wonderful Encounter Story JSK1 and it's by Baby the Starshine Bright. Yeah, the, the names are pretty long by the way. It has this print as you can see, but I think I went for the white, ivory or navy. So this version, which I guess is the ivory or this version, this is the, the navy version, it's quite pretty, you can see it has a tiered um, detail here on the front, the corset lacing of course, and uh, where's the ivory version, I guess it would be this one, this looks pink, but maybe I just, well I think it's this one, okay this is it with a blouse i don't think i love the print of, the, of this one as much as the previous triple fortune dress but i probably will never own that one so i guess this one is maybe slightly more likely to be not necessarily re-released but to be encountered maybe in a second hand uh, shop or something like that in a second hand lolita shop i mean this one is called the spirit de la noblesse chevalier jsk by what's the brand let me look oh i think the brand is let's put the Lenovo's. okay there we go so the jsk is called chevalier this one as you can see is kind of a well it has it, i'm not sure if they sell this um sword themed necklace or what but it looks very good with that um it has this corset lacing that i like a lot because it's kind of that inverted triangle shape and the skirt is also printed not too i don't know not too detailed i definitely prefer the black version and i think this is a russian brand um you would not think so from the name because it sounds it seems french right but i think it's french themed but the brand itself is russian or something um, as you can see, it has this royalty theme, the swords, the crowns, the knights, um, you know, the whole thing is, is quite beautiful. Another one by a Russian indie brand is 
This is by Pumpkin Cats. It's the Matryoshka Koti Matryoshka Kotiosh Kotionka skirt by Pumpkin Cats. It goes for $80 and I like the Burgundy version a lot. This is quite pretty as you can see. They're kind of like Russian dolls but they have cats on them as the name suggests. I like the fact that the brand name or is it the brand name or is it the name of the print? I don't know. It's here on the waistline. The little ribbon here as well. This is by Angelic Pretty. It's called the Dollhouse Skirt. I don't think there's a large version of this. Well, of this colorway, it do there doesn't seem to be a large image, but it looks like that, the black and gray version, which is the one that I care for the most. But it's such a pretty skirt, you know, it's kind of understated, but also not... I mean, it's understated, you know, in, in comparison to other things that you might find from this brand, of course. I'm not sure that anything by them can be considered to be understated. And it's $160. This one is by Eccentric. It's called the Butler Corset Skirt. As you can see, it has, apparently it has boning, which is very interesting for a skirt. As you can see, it has boning. Um, so it has a proper corset on it. Um, and then it has a skirt attached to it, basically. Uh, you can see this is the corset lacing uh, part on the, on the back. Uh, it has the straps here that are really pretty. And has also it's sort of a military style design. I like this darker trim at the bottom. It's all just really beautiful and kind of subtle. Not subtle, but you know, it's kind of a neutral color and um, a subtle print here. But the design is just really beautiful, and it goes for two hundred and fifty dollars. So. Well, mainly I think it's because of the boning itself, which makes it more expensive, of course. This one is by Angelic Pretty. It's called Ribbon Frill Heart Lace Skirt. And of course, I would be more, most interested in this one in, in the black colorway. I'm not sure that this will ever be released or be available again. But yeah, it's just kind of, again, part, part of my fantasy wardrobe, if you will. And it goes for $130. This one is by Infanta. So I'm going to blouses here or katsus, bustiers, anything that's like a top. This one is the Infanta Chiffon Embroidery Long Sleeve Blouse. And it's $30. I would like to have this in both black and white. It's a pretty simple kind of basic blouse, but at the same time it's not too simple, you know. Um, because if a blouse was too simple, you wouldn't be able to wear it with Lolita dresses because they're pretty much never simple enough to be worn with something like that doesn't have anything interesting going on, you know? Um, this one is a, the Infanta Princess Lee chiffon blouse, chiffon blouse. Again, I want this in black and white. It's kind of a sheer thing. It's meant for the summer, which is why it's a crop top because, you know, it's supposed to be worn under a JSK like this one, not, of course, under with just a skirt um, because it's a sheer, fabric, right? This is the AP logo embroidery color short, short sleeve cut so um, look at this, it's so beautiful, it looks so high quality um, I think I wanted this in white, just full white. It has the logo here in a sort of glitter gold embroidery and I think it's so pretty, you know, it's like the little version of having like um, shirt that says like Gucci on it or something like that. This one, I think I didn't list the, the, the price for this one, but this is also by Angelic Pretty. It's called the Detachable Color Cut Sew and it's, I care mostly, mostly for the red and black and white version, this one here, and I also like this other version, of course, black and white. I like the fact that it's a more interesting looking blouse. Usually blouses will be one solid color, um, even though they have lace and all these details in design, they usually will just be one color. And this one will be cool to wear with a skirt or something like that. This one is the lace collar pullover by, an, by, by, just pretty, by Baby Distortion Bride. Um, I mostly like the, the fact that the collar is quite big, the, the sleeves are long, they're kind of sheer. And also it has the logo here. In, on a little charm that hangs from the bow here at the very top and it has these little bows here on the sleeves at the very end it's just so such a pretty and dainty 
and thoughtful design for a blouse and I like the fact that there's nothing bulky here at the center that would distract um, or that would feel uh, uncomfortable if you're wearing it under a JSK or something. This one is by Anna House uh, which is a cheaper uh, also a Chinese brand. It has these huge leaves that I love. It's Right now it's for $25 but it used to be $30. Um, and I like the red version especially, mostly because I think I would like, um, I would have a lot of red clothes. Uh, mostly based on the ones that were, the dresses are my favorite ones. This blouse is by Jolanda and it's called, it has a weird name, I'm not sure if it was badly translated or something. But it seems to be called A Little Drunk, The Morning Sleeve Dull Color Lace Vintage Chiffon Blouse, okay. It's a pretty old one, it's 10 years old since it's it's been 10 years since it was released. This is by Bogota. It's called Little Fairy G Vertical Stripes Chiffon Sleeves Blouse. Um, I live in Mexico, so a lot of these blouses are kind of more breathable and sheer things rather than, you know, the type of um, more winter type stuff. I mean, it's mostly, even when it gets cold here, it doesn't really get that cold. So I don't exactly feel the need to, you know, think of more winter stuff. And it's a lot of layers as well in Loli that tends to be not just the blouse and the dress, but also on the bottoms you have the petticoats and you probably have the long socks. Um, and also you tend to have maybe tights under the socks, the bloomers, you know, it's a whole thing. So it's very winter friendly, I would say. Not very winter friendly, but you know, not like snow winter friendly, but definitely like cold weather friendly fashion so yeah this is the border blouse by eccentric no by antique beast um it's such a beautiful blouse extremely expensive as well it's 220 dollars which is down about the same price you would generally pay for a brand jsk so yeah it's quite expensive but it is a velvet uh, blouse quite beautiful you could wear it um over just a skirt the sleeves here have this detail going on um embroidered here and i'm not sure what this is but this skirt is also quite pretty um i should look that up so this is by the black ribbon which is this listed as western in the i'm not sure if it's american maybe from the us i don't know but it's a bodice you can see it has this immaculate heart motif here um, I don't think it has bony, let me look at it, no. But it's quite pretty anyway, it has corset lacing here, which is a bit different from what I'm used to seeing. Um, and also these straps that hold the the straps themselves of the, of the bodice, right, with a ribbon. Quite beautiful velvet panel here with the embroidered detail and the jacquard kind of print on the sides and it's 95 dollars so yeah so the next is headwear and i have this baby the stars shine bright princess drop headdress um it's just a black solid headdress i like this one mainly because it has the logo here on the sides um the baby logo there this body line one that most especially in the black version um this one is pretty simple, maybe it does look obviously like it's body line, I don't know. Um, again, the pictures that body line does makes, they don't really do it justice at all, but I think it looks cute. And this goes for $10. This is the AP Cute Lace Headdress, and this looks, especially I like it in black. And what I have noticed, it has the logo, well, not a logo, but it has a charm with like a very visible, barely visible logo there. Um, and I like the fact that AP seems to have these little clips um, on the back of the headdress so that you don't have to actually use the ribbons and like tie them here, which, you know, it's not necessarily the, the most comfortable for everyone. And for me, it would probably not be ideal. That's the kind of thing that makes AP so respected and so liked um, among Lolitas, you know, they really think of all these little details. This one is also by Angelic Pretty, it's called Sweet Afternoon Headdress. Um, I especially like it in black and white, as you can imagine. Pretty beautiful lace here. And it has a little charm with a cross, cross charm that says AP. 
and also has the clips. This one is a pearl ribbon toque hat or toque hat but I really like this type of hat. Um, it's definitely the kind of thing that you could just wear with like a regular vintage outfit and it will look really pretty. It's by Alice in the Pirates and it goes for $175 so very interesting. Hmm. Yeah I'm not sure about that one but this one is a very interesting looking headdress. Lolita doesn't have a lot of headdresses that look like this. It kind of has like a tricorn kind of look to it. And it's called the Vampire Princess Headdress. And it goes for um, $85. And I especially like this in the, I guess, Burgundy version. The white one is also quite pretty, but... I don't think I have enough fully white stuff to just wear that with a lot of things. But it's quite pretty. Look at the ribbons and the embroidery here, the colors, the lace here. It's just quite beautiful and I just love how it looks. This is also by Alice and the Pirates. It's called the AP Logo Gross Grain Comb. And I'm, it's mostly worn sort of if you have a hairstyle that's like maybe two braids. You could have the combs on the ties of the braids and it makes the head wear a little bit more intricate um, generally you are in lolita you are expected to wear something on your head whether it's a headdress hat something like that but maybe in a more simple cord you could just go with uh, wearing a hairstyle, a more intricate hairstyle or you know just having something that's not having your hair down and using bows like this one. By the way they go for $35 so the two of them for $35. This one is on Fan Plus Friend. It's $23 and it's this crown kind of thing. Um, it's made to look apparently kind of a Russian royalty kind of thing, uh, at least based on the name. They call it a Kokoshnik and there's a white version and a sort of light blue version. I would be more interested in the white one. Uh, you know, you can see it has this little pearl here, the lace or rather the frills here on the as a trim. Uh, it looks quite beautiful. It will be very nice for a sort of royalty inspired cord and this one is by surface spell and it's one of my favorite headdresses that i've seen and it's really beautiful i like both the bl black and the white version but i would probably get more use out of the black one this one is also by anna house um it's 18 dollars or at least on sale and it's red and white and since i have a lot of red on my wish list in terms of dresses I figured this one would end up being very useful and it's also really pretty of course. This is a triangle scarf and I have noticed that this looks really cute in some kind of country inspired outfits or cords. Um, this one is, is supposed to go with a sort of alpen, I think it's called the alpen skirt, um, JSK or something like that. And it's quite pretty, it has the red ribbons here. Um, it will look cute with the hair down or like this in braids. This is a pretty interesting one. This is by Antique Beast. It's called the Drizzle Garden Bonnet and it's a hundred dollars. Um, it's just fully black, but I think it's so cool because it's such a severe looking bonnet. Uh, almost like historically accurate, wants to be historically accurate. I'm not sure if they would have worn the bow and all that, but it's a very like full bonnet. Look at the back, it's just very full on a bonnet. This one is by Eccentric and it's $82 and it's also a very like historical looking bonnet. Uh, just fully white with the lace and the frills and I don't know, I, I fear this would look really beautiful with the hair just fully down but just the bonnet on top. This one is also by Fan Plus Friend. It's the Steel Rose headdress and it looks rather interesting. It has this perfect fur lined uh, lining here at the top and this print that has a cross and everything it would look cool with a lot of different things um, and it's ten dollars so yeah now we're getting onto socks socks if you are not a lolita or you are not familiar with it um they're much more important than they might seem at first glance because typically the skirts only go down to the knees so you need something to go on the rest of the legs. Um, sometimes some ankle socks are worn, 
sometimes uh, tights, but generally uh, Lolitas will stick to either OTKs, so over the knee socks and knee socks that go just uh, uh, under the knee. But typically OTKs are preferred. They tend to be printed or be a bit more intricate in some way, um, unless they're paired with more simple dresses, in which case they're probably solid or close to solid. For example, this one is by Innocent World. It is the rose and ribbon striped lace stitch OTKs. These ones are $15 and they have this appearance, right? They kind of have the sheer panels or the sheer designs um, and they're mostly black. So they would go well with more simple black um, or mostly black dresses. These are the romantic OTKs also by Innocent World and I like the burgundy ones or at least I would get the most wear out of them. Um, they have the corset lace kind of print here and the back has this design and they're just quite pretty. I mean, I don't know, even looking at them by themselves is like, yeah, very pretty um, knee high socks. As you can see, this is what they look like uh, with a cord full on and they're so pretty, right? These are the Angelic Pretty Loyalty OTKs. This would be really cool with... Um, with a military style cord, right? Like, like they look a little, they look cutesy, you know? They don't exactly look serious or anything. Um, it's not like you're trying to look like you're actually um, some sort of, you know, part of the military just by dressing a certain way. <laughs> these one are also, these ones are also by AP. This is the Noel Collection OTKs. I like them a lot in wine. Um, I would probably get more wear out of, the, out of them, the wine version or maybe the white. Um, but I do prefer darker colors when it comes to socks, unless I do want to have an all-white, fully white cord. Um, so I prefer something like wine, black, um, maybe navy, but I don't have much navy um, on the dresses that I have on my wish list. It has the AP, it even says Angelic P again here, you know, just to, just to let you know if I were to own them that I own Angelic Pretty. Um, so these are also by them the pointe shoes style decays and i would like them especially in the red style again red and white would be really cute with some more sweet leaning red cords or red dresses this is the also by p romantic angel otks and i like them in navy a lot they're quite pretty there's a few kind of royalty themed um, dresses that would go very well with these socks. They also have these corset lacing design at the back which is very cute too. These are shoes by Cotton Candy Fit and I would love to have these in black and burgundy as you can see there um, there's the sort of samples and these are the black ones. I don't think there's a picture of them in burgundy but there's them in red and they're quite pretty. I like them mostly because the heel is not too high and they're not too simple but also not too intricate. They just have the ribbons here. And I would be also interested in the bodyline shoes. Bodyline shoes seem to be pretty well liked. Um, I like this one in enamel black, which would be these ones. And also these ones could also be in black. Not as simple but maybe potentially better. Um, for Lolita purposes, right? Um, they look pretty cute. They seem to, they appear to have high heels, but in reality they also have the thick platform toes, so that would probably not be too uncomfortable. I would guess and assume and hope these go for $30, whereas the Cotton, Charm, Cotton Candy Feet Charm ribbons go for $70. So yeah, the Cotton Candy Feet is sort of a more high-end brand um, among the leaders. Scalloped cut ribbon shoes are also some of the ones that I think are pretty cute from Bodyline. I would be interested in white, in the white versions. These shoes as well, pretty similar to these ones, except more straps. Um, I would more likely decide based on the reviews rather than on the look of them because they're basically the same price and 
mm, pretty similar design. This one is also by Cotton Candy Fit. It's the Freely Academy three-way bag in black. And this seems to be a pretty well-reviewed um, line of bags and you can wear it as a backpack or a handbag or a crossbody bag. This is also the um, ribbon heart bag by BTSSB, which is a classic, very light uh, from them. This is a pretty like classic old school type bag by them. Um, I especially like the red and white version, very, very pretty. And that one is $150. This one is really cute. This is by Alice in the Pirates and it's called it This is my blood tote bag. I like the black version here and as you can see it's kind of a print. The print has the Alice character and says this is my blood. I think there is also a this is my blood um, print dress, a line that's um, named the same way but I didn't really care that much for that print or that design but I like the bag a lot. This is by YNN, a um, bag that you can find on Club Online and it's almost $20 so pretty cheap and it's called the Baroque Style Roman Gate Vintage Bag 1. Um, it's quite pretty, um, you can see here it has a sort of angel design and with the gold details and I like the black version a lot. I'm not sure how durable this would be um, but it is quite pretty and it would go well with a lot of um, kind of vintage or royalty themed uh, cords. So we're getting into some of the last ones. This is the bloomers and petticoats and this is one by Bodyline. It's just called the pumpkin lace drawers. They call them drawers but we call them bloomers in English um, English speakers. This is this is twenty dollars. These are twenty dollars and I care really mostly for the white ones. I would be mostly wearing black but I wouldn't I don't really care to have black bloomers. I don't feel they would look as good. They're not supposed to be seen of course but you know I, I think it will kind of dumb to have black bloomers under a white petticoat. I don't know maybe these bloomers um also white um are by fan plus friend and they are a little bit over 20 dollars which seems to be the main uh, cheaper side of the pricing for bloomers this is a petticoat by aurora and ariel which seems to have very good reviews so of course with a lot of these dresses that i mentioned um, i would need a, an a-line um, pretty cool, specifically one that isn't too short um, with the longer, for the longer dresses of course. This one would be $27, which I think is a pretty good price. Um, this one is also by Aurora and Ariel and it's a sort of less less puffy and also longer petticoat that would be great for those more vintage um, borderline Lolita dresses and it's the same price as well and the same brand and this one is one that i'm not that sure about um it's sold or they tell you that it's a cage skirt or hoop skirt and i would be interested in it in white and i'm not sure that it would really keep its shape under a dress um, and it's not like the fabric of a skirt a dress would be so heavy but i'm not sure if this is like for decoration to wear on its own or if it's meant to actually be worn under a skirt and I really can't figure it out from the description or anything. And I'm mostly debating it because it's kind of expensive, it's 56 and I don't know of any other hoop skirts or crinolines that I could buy um, that are this same shape and length. This is by Infanta and it's the Rosenberry Brass Button Coat. We're getting onto the outerwear and cardigans and stuff like that, by the way. This one is a also kind of military style coat and it's pretty cute in all the colors, but black is probably my favorite. Black and gold is pretty cool. And this one is a lace cardigan, hard lace cardigan by BTSSB. And again, I'm mostly picked this one because it has the logo there um, it says baby star shine bright in black and the black version has the kind of light gold logo 
it goes for $110. This one is by Angelique Bridge. It's called the Girly Ribbon Knit Cardigan and I like it in wine and burgundy, wine slash burgundy. And again, I like the fact that it has the logo right there. I mean, right there it has the bow and it says Angelique Pretty. This one is by Alice in the Pirates. And again, it has the logo, it says AP Alice in the Pirates. And it's a bolero, it's a sort of lace one. I mean, it has the sort of um, dotted design where it has a bunch of holes in a specific design, right? And this one I like, wait. I like this in wine, the, sh the color wine. It has this um, ribbon also going through the neckline, as you can see, and it's $130. And this one is also by Alice in the Pirates. It's called the Sleepy Sheep Frilled Polero. And it has this logo. It says Alice in the Pirates. Very cute. And it has the Z like for sleeping, right? I don't know, cute. I only have two wrist cuffs. Um, on my wish list. I think it's mostly because a lot of classic Lolita and Gothic Lolita kind of doesn't look that good with wrist cuffs and also a lot of the stuff that I have on my wish list um, is long sleeved or it has or I'm planning to wear it with uh, long sleeved blouses and I don't know wrist cuffs don't really stand much on their own there. Um, but the ones that I have on my wish list are these ones by Angelique Pri, the Pearl Organdi Wrist Cuffs in what black. As you can see, it has the little um, pearl detail and it says AP on this star charm. And these ones are two lace cuffs by Alice in the Pirates. And these ones have a little charm as well that says AP. I also really like this ring by Angelique Pretty, the red one. It's the Topping Heart Ring, which apparently was re-released in 2021, or maybe it was released for the first time, but I could have sworn that I've seen this before, but I don't know. And also this ring also by AP, the Dot Scallop Heart Ring in black, which is this one. Very pretty and I don't know, I think I like the idea of just wearing something that says Angelic Pretty on it. This eye patch by um, Alice and the Pirates that goes for $30 or at least it did at some point. And it's just this eye patch by them, this kind of pirate eye patch that has the logo embroidered and two swords crossed and it has a little lace around it. And even though it's nothing special aside from the logo being embroidered there, I just feel like this has to be on my wish list, uh, mostly because of all my liking of other older pirate themed stuff. And yeah, I just love this brand a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much my entire wish list. It's a lot of stuff, it's a lot of, I don't know, optimism and you know, it's, it's not necessarily something that I'm planning to have recent um, in the near future. Um, but rather something that, you know, I just appreciate and I just look at them as, as really beautiful pieces and things that I would like to own, but that I'm not necessarily planning to buy. So I hope you somehow enjoyed this mostly pretty useless video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.